So I just get a fresh version of Windows 11 and this is how it went from 180 processes all the way down to around 70. I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to deploy Windows 11 properly and the best part about it is it's really safe and also really fast. So therefore it won't really take a lot of time guys. You can see before we deploy Windows I have over 160 processes which is horrible for system render latency, the overall speed of the system and as well gaming performance. So what we want to do in the first place, once we are now already in the task manager, what I want you to do is go over to startup applications. It's literally straight up in there. Just follow exactly what I'm doing here and make sure that you disable every single process which you guys don't need. Disabling as many startup applications as possible can have so many advantages like speeding up the process as well of launching your Windows, which is gonna be really nice guys because we all know we hate it when it takes like long when our PC starts. Now for the actual deep load step, I want you to actually go in your browser and just simply Google up Chris Titus Tech Utility. This is the tool which we're going to utilize which is going to remove a huge chunk of our bloatware off our Windows PC. It's an amazing tool and all you gotta do is copy the following comment, then you gotta go back onto your desktop, just simply search up PowerShell and right click onto it and launch it as an administrator, guys. That is super important. Once you get that, a new window should pop up, guys. And this is basically now your PowerShell console. And in there, you're going to paste the following link, which we just copied and just simply press enter. It's then going to download for you everything which it needs to actually run the utility tool. And then afterwards, it's going to start. That's literally the coolest part about it. You don't have to download anything. And now once we're in the tool itself, you can see on the top bar actually the tweaks section, guys. This is what we want to focus around. You have a bunch of presets for your PC, laptop, minimal, and even to reverse all of the tweaks. But what we want to focus on, guys, are just something the normal PC recommendations. So we're going to click under desktop and make sure to check as well, create a restore point, guys. This is so important. Every single time before you apply any major tweaks, always make sure that you create a restore point. We already have run with own or shut up as well applied in here. So just simply click run tweaks and it's going to literally adjust every single thing for you automatically. It's going to remove all the bloatware, it's going to apply all of the privacy settings, all of the telemetry processes are gonna get stopped so Microsoft cannot collect data off your PC anymore. And once you're done with it, it's going to tell you the tweaks are finished and now just simply restart your PC. And now once we restarted our PC, let's actually check in the task manager how many processes we are on. And as you can see guys, we already went from well over 160 all the way down to 89 to 90 processes, but we still don't want to stop here guys. Like we can get this number even lower. So what we're actually going to do guys is go into our search bar and type in the services. Right click onto it and run it as administrator. Of course again create a restore point guys. Before you apply the next following settings again make another restore point just so you're on the secure side because with the Chris Titus tech utility these are already safe tweaks so make another restore point and then continue. Now in services you can see a whole entire list of basically every single service which is running on your Windows PC. There's around 50 I would say which are from Windows directly then you have a few applications and then you have a small portion as well of extra services and we're going to deactivate a mixture between the Windows ones and these extra ones. So what I want you to do in the first place is scroll all the way down guys and make sure to disable all of the Xbox services if you actually don't need them guys. These are super hardware demanding so therefore make sure to delete everything there. It's like this Xbox game bar which is active 24-7 in the background really taking a lot of system performance. And now in this next step I'm going to guide you through a whole entire list of every single process which I would say you can safely actually deactivate as mentioned you have a restore point don't be worried if there's something which you don't like just simply go back but I'm just gonna play it now and make sure to copy every single step guys
Now the most hardware demanding one is actually a Windows search bar guys, so therefore for this one you have to decide for yourself if you actually utilize it or not on your Windows PC. You're going to lose a bunch of abilities of it, so therefore if you use it on a day to day base, make sure to leave it on. I just want to include it since it's the most hardware demanding one. For the next step guys, I want you to go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in that task until you can find the task scheduler. And in here now we can find a summary of every single task which is scheduled on our PC. As mentioned, I have a fresh Windows version, so therefore there's not actually much in here, but for you there might be a lot more and what you want to make sure is basically disable as many as possible as you can as an example something like microsoft edge update task machine here this one basically when i go here into property just tells me it keeps your microsoft software up to date and since i don't really utilize microsoft edge anymore i can actually fully disable it because if you're going to take a look it actually just happened today like today was the last time when this service was actually running and was updating microsoft edge in the background even though i never use it I'm going to do the same here as well with the other one here we can see as well in the properties real quick that it's also for the software update and yeah and as mentioned all we got to do is click under disable that way we now already disabled this year and it's not a service which is going to run once or twice a day on our pc nvidia we're going to let here nvidia the self update theoretically you could also deactivate it if you want to do it manually you know there's also a button in the nvidia app the same goes as well for my other launcher opera gx or most likely you're going to have multiple services in here make sure to do some quick research and look if you can actually disable them now after we're done with that, I want you to go again into your Windows search bar and type in that taskbar because you can see the small widgets which are on our home screen. We want to fully disable them. And this is exactly where you do it, guys. You can see straight up an option for widgets. You want to make sure to just simply put it on off, guys. It's super important since widgets also take a lot of system power. They're basically backed up by AI, you know, permanently updating, giving us infos and all of that stuff. We don't need that. And once you're in the same window, you can also see on the left side now applications. Click onto it, guys, and there we now have a bunch of presets. The insert applications, I want you to go through every single one of them and just figure out, okay, do I need it? No, I don't need it. Okay, that one also. Because Windows has a lot of them which are pre-installed, which are just simply useless. Like, I'm not gonna use anything like a contact book on my PC when I have a phone. You know what I'm saying, guys? So therefore, make sure that you go through every single single one of them and just simply hit uninstall guys. I'm going to speed up the process real quick so you can see what I did here. The next up also go under apps for websites and make sure that you uncheck every single one of these options which are available. And then once again you can also double check your startup to really see if there's not anything which is maybe still turned on. Next up also click under gaming guys and they can see a feature for the game bar. This is basically the Windows own recording software and you want to make sure to actually flip it on off guys. Because that one is also running in the background and it's super hardware demanding. And now all you gotta do is reset your PC again and check how the processes have changed. Now after the next time restarting my PC you can see that I got down all the way to 70 to processes but also keep in mind I'm running OBS on my PC and as well some other software which I need for the recording. So actually we're moving around 65 processes which is an amazing upgrade guys from having over 160 in the first place. If you enjoyed this video and you want to optimize your Windows PC even further make sure to check out the two videos which are right here on screen and don't forget to subscribe.